Hello, welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Rohit's got me working again. He wants to know about exporting out EDLs, Edit Decision Lists, in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, thankfully, we don't have to deal with these very much because they're very, very hard to deal with. An EDL, Edit Decision List, is a text document that explains what's going on in the timeline in very simple text. The reason it's used is Premiere Pro has a format that only Premiere Pro and After Effects understand. There's nothing, you can't give a Premiere Pro project to a finishing house. And a lot of people that are in the high end will be editing in Premiere Pro, but they might not be finishing in Premiere Pro. They have to give this to a finishing house that use a very big high end system. Sometimes they're uh, DaVinci Resolved or Baselight or Pablo and they're big, huge systems and they don't understand Premiere Pro. So you send them an EDL, an edit decision list. It's been an industry standard forever. The problem with them is they're really, really limited. They can only understand one track of video and four tracks of audio. And you're probably thinking, I don't do anything with one track of video. So you have two options. You can flatten everything down to one layer. And if you basically have a checkerboard kind of, uh, of edit where it's going from li like an interview kind of thing back and forth and you're going between one clip to another, that's pretty easy to flatten. You can select the whole V2 and drop that down. But most people will be working with other things that are, that are more complex. Um, other things that you have to take into account, you can't use, you can use uh, linear speed changes, but not variable speed changes. So if you've done that cool speed ramping in, uh, in um, Premiere Pro, that can't be translated over to an EDL because the EDLs are old and dumb. Um, you can have uh, straight transitions that, you know, the normal types of wipes, dissolves and things like that, that those will work. Um, you can have no nested clips. So if you've got a nested clip, it will break the EDL and, and the person importing it will not get that. Um, frame hold will work. That That's translated uh, quite well. Um, visual effect shots, if you've got to send them out, then they usually go out separate. But if you've got a separate layer, you can send that out. And I'll show you that in a second. We're going to output each individual uh, track separately. Um, audio, you know, you, you, you sometimes can't squeeze everything into four tracks. So uh, we can output multiple ones like that. So there are some limitations in EDLs, but there's some good practices. And let's go uh, export one out right now. So here I've got a very complicated sequence. I'm gonna hit my tilde key on the North American keyboard and open this up and show you I've got way more than one video track and way more than four audio tracks. To export out an EDL in the file menu, export EDL. And here's the options. The first is the title and the title can be different than the actual project name. You can change the overall start code. If, if somebody wanted you to start one hour earlier, you could do that. You can include or not include video levels. Video levels are opacity changes that you happen to have uh, set. You can include those or not. You can include audio levels if you want. Um, so if you've changed the audio, that will go out. You can use the source file name. Very, very important. If you just shot a whole bunch of stuff with a DSLR and threw it in here, and if you think you're gonna export out an EDL that works, wrong. You have to have connected time code through all of the media because that's the only way that the, the uh, EDL is going to understand the relationship of all of those. So this is, again, normally done in a higher end system. Nothing I do, although each one of the, this clip has time code, but this clip has no understanding of the time code in the Camtasia that I'm capturing here. You, you would normally, in this situation where you're going out to EDL, something has been running as a master time code and connecting them, maybe it's an audio device. So uh, if you don't have that, this ain't gonna work. Um, you can convert this or uh, to 32 character names if you want. You can include a key track. This is turned off by default, but you can include it or not. By default in an EDL, anything on above uh, V1 is considered a key track and this will strip that, that key track out. And uh, chances are you, you, if you want 
V2, then you can do that separately, which we'll do in a second. You can include the transitions if you want, and you can use the sound roll, sound time code. So again, if something was, was running the time code over on an, an audio capture device, you can use that. Now, uh, here you get to choose whether the audio, where it is in the actual EDL itself. Is it uh, follow along? Is it separate? Is it at the end? Now, if you remember my sequence had a giant amount of tracks, here you get to pick which track you want. So here's the idea. I've got, my, my edit is too difficult to describe in one uh, video. So what you can do is output one EDL and call this, you know, online one or uh, V1 and then export another one and choose a different one, choose a different one, choose a different one. Obviously you communicate with the people on the other end, but they basically rebuild this more complicated timeline one track at a time by importing in EDLs. And they all line up because the time code is the same. Same thing for the audio down at the bottom. You can choose four at a time, but many times it's impossible to squish everything down into, into four. So you, you output four at a time for every one, and hopefully you've got enough uh, there and you can just do the audio if you want it. So those are some really important things that you have to do. Now let's go look at one. I already exported this out. You wanna see an EDL? They're pretty boring. Here's the EDL right here. Um, you can see there's the name main sequence. There's the uh, non-drop frame that this was set and the time code exported out for all of these. And I guarantee you this would not work because um, I know it didn't come from a, a, a correctly created sequence for that. It's just a basic demo sequence. But those are the important things. One video track at a time, four audio tracks at a time to go out to communicate to other guys who, who are asking you for an EDL. So there you go, Rohit. Hopefully that answers your question. Um, if you're new to Video Revealed, take a moment and subscribe. If you want to support us a little bit further, get on over to Patreon and uh, support us there for as little as $1 a month. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith. It's my job to get you looking your best.